Silverstein here. Now I'm going to show you how to install Clover on this machine and get a fully functioning bootable iCloud and everything working. So I, here's Clover. All you got to do is install it. So you, it's not so simple. So what you want to do first before you install Clover is go into computer, go into Macintosh HD and then I would go into extra, copy that, and paste it to the desktop. And then you install Clover, and choose back into HD, and then don't hit install, hit customize, and then hit install Clover in the ESP, and then the first, the middle option, Install boot 0 AF in MBR. Then, then you want to hit uh, install RC on target volume. And then you might want to hit this install Clover preferences pane. But that's about it you want to click. don't want to check this. You don't want to check this because this is for UEFI, UEFI computers and this is not a UEFI computer. And then you just install this. Let it do its thing. Okay, you heard the sound working. And then the next thing you want to do is go into Go and then go to computer let me zoom in so you can see a little better okay then you want to go into EFI EFI Clover and then you want to go into Kex 10.10 and then go into the extra folder that we copied earlier just copy all these files from the extra extensions and paste them into 10.10 and also paste them into other paste them into 10.6 paste them into 10.7 and paste them into 10.8 and then paste them into 10.9 and then you want to go into ACPI, and this is very important. When you go into ACPI, then you want to go to Patch. You go back into the extra folder. And you want to copy this dsdc.amol file and paste it into this Patch folder. And that's about it. And then all you have to do is just restart. And now you should have Clover installed. Just zoom out a little bit. This is Clover. And believe it or not, you can actually go into the recovery hardware of the Mac. I mean of the Dell or the Macintosh operating system. And you can actually reinstall Mac totally from their recovery application. And here's Mac Clean. And it doesn't boot up in your native resolution to fix that. It's really simple. Um, I'll show you in a second. Now it's in the native resolution. And it boots up like a new MacBook. You know? The new MacBook boots up with the black background and the white apple. So let me show you how to install, uh, make it your native resolution when it boots up. So go into terminal and type in disk you, you tell 
this. And then look for the EFI partition. And type in disk util mount. And then disk. And then the disk up here. And then S, whatever the EFI partition is. Disk zero. S one in my case. Because that's the EFI partition. And then it says volume EFI disk one disk zero S one mounted and just close terminal and then go into go computer EFI EFI Clover and open that config.plist file and then just hit command F and type in 1024 and it should find um, 1280 by 1024 so just change it to 9 my screen resolution is 1920 by 1200 so just change it to your screen resolution mine is 1920 by 1200 and just save it Close it, it will give you this uh, warning. And then just quit that. And then just close this and then reboot. I'll do a later video showing this off when I get it back. But it's really cool. Now it's in my native resolution and it's booting up automatically. And there it goes. Pretty cool. And it boots really quickly because it has an SSD in here. But I really like the whole black background and the white alpha. It's really nice. And then now let me show you um, booting into the recovery partition, and, and it should just work. You know, it should it should just reinstall the operating system from the recovery partition. You don't have to reinstall Clover and everything. Just make sure you don't wipe out the entire hard drive. When you install Clover and you want, um, so now I'm gonna boot into the recovery HD. So basically, when you uh, when you install Clover. You could put in any Mac disk you want, a Snow Leopard, a Lion, a Mountain Lion, a Mavericks, a Yosemite disk, and you won't need to patch the USB drive because the extra folder is essentially on the Clover EFI folder. So it's really cool and you can actually just reinstall the operating system without having to reinstall Clover or put Chameleon on the USB drive. But the thing you don't want to do is erase the whole hard drive. When you're reinstalling an operating system, like Mac on this computer with Clover, you want to just erase Macintosh HD, but you don't want to click on the entire hard drive and then uh, erase that because then you will lose Clover. But essentially, it just booted up into the recovery partition, and you could actually totally reinstall Mac um, from this recovery partition, and it should work fine. You know? Clover is awesome, but the thing is, Clover relies heavily on a DSDT. So if you don't have a DSDT, you can't use Clover. It doesn't work. Um, DSDTs are required by Clover and this should work when uh, I know in like uh, less than a month uh, WWDC is coming out when they release a new version of Clover it should work fine with the next version of Mac I'm just assuming that it would um, I don't know because it's not out yet but I'm just assuming that it would so, and let me just show you that it works
so now we're in the recovery position, and I think you can use Time Machine actually from a real Mac. And uh, you can reinstall OS 10, get help online, and also use Dish Utility. But let me show you when you go into Dish Utility. You don't want to click here and erase this, you just want to erase this, and then just hit erase, and erase, and then reinstall it immediately. Don't, uh, don't erase it and then reboot. You want to make sure that there's always a Mac hard drive on this uh, computer. Alright, I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, good luck. Alright, see ya. Peace.